Well, hello and welcome to Producer Dan. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. Today I want to show you the DB33 organ plugin by Air Music Technologies. This plugin is part of the Air Creative Collection that they included in Pro Tools back in 2008. This plugin is an emulation of the Hammond B3 organ that was popular with rock musicians and jazz musicians back in the 60s and 70s. This organ got its distinct sound as it was commonly played through a Leslie cabinet. Our plugin here also comes with the Leslie cabinet emulation, which also can be used as a separate plugin for other instruments. Now the Hammond B3 got its distinct sound by using tone wheels that spin and would create harmonics. It also worked with these draw bars, which the player could use to create additional harmonics. It also came with presets that could be brought up instantaneously. So this instrument was commonly played through a Leslie cabinet, which is a combination of some spinning horn tweeters on top of the cabinet and a spinning woofer down below. As this sound moves, kind of like a passing car, the pitch would go up and down uh, slightly and cr create this very distinct vibrato that was part of this Leslie cabinet. All right, so let's take a look at some of these presets. And you can see they have rock, jazz, gospel, ballad, solo, and other. They also have preview. Some of these are meant to kind of demonstrate what it can do. So let's take a look at solid rock. Jazz percussion. You can definitely hear the percussion uh, element they've added on that, and we'll get we'll go over that. Belly. You can definitely hear the Leslie cabinet on that one. Purple Drive. Very large stadium sound there. Mint Condition. I love the way that sounds. Let's go into some gospel. This one's called Hymn One. All right, so those are the some of the presets to give you an idea of um, uh, what this sounds like. Let's go over these parameters here in the front and we'll also take a look at the cabinet, the Leslie cabinet here uh, underneath. All right, so I'm gonna put this uh, in the factory default. So let's take a look at the parameters on this plugin starting with the tone wheels. Uh, we have selections all the way from dirty, used, new, and then two synth uh, emulations. Here's dirty. Too bad. Used. New. All right. Not much difference between those. Here's synth. Nice. Very clean. And synth two. All 
I can, it's definitely brighter and I can definitely hear some harmonics added there. All right, then they have a scanner, vibrato, and chorus section. Uh, we have to make sure that's on. Chorus one. Maybe you'd have to have headphones to hear the difference. Chorus three. Vibrato one. Very subtle. Vibrato two. Vibrato three. All right. So that is the vibrato section. I'm going to turn that off. All right, so now we're going to look at the tone bars. I'm going to push all of these back in and start with just one. I'm going to pull up a frequency display and we can take a look at the harmonics as they're added. Let's start here on this F. I'll pull this one out. There's a nice harmonic there. It's not an octave. I think it's a fifth. This is an octave. You can see them adding as we pull them out. That's a definite octave. Okay. That's an octave above that fifth. Another octave. I think that's a third. All right. So I, I hope you're able to, you know, see that on the frequency um, display, all those extra harmonics that are added with these tone bars. Now the next section is the key click and uh, one characteristic that the original Hammond uh, B3 had was when the keys were struck, it made an electronic click sound. Uh, I'll give a demonstration. Here it is, the full click. All right, here's without it. Now the manufacturers thought that that click would was kind of a uh, something they wanted to get rid of, and so uh, they tried to. And the musicians complained; uh, they liked that click sound, particularly the rock and jazz musicians liked the click sound. So it became uh, part of the classic sound of the Hammond B3. So I'm going to turn that off, and let's go to the percussion section. Let's turn this on. This is the same idea as the key click, only the percussion uh, happens on just the first note that's hit in a line of notes. And then once all the keys are released, it'll hit again. And the sound can either be a second away or a third away. And I'll demonstrate that now. So let's turn it on and we'll do a loud, long second. You can kind of hear that. Let's do the short version of the second harmonic. And here's the long version of the second. Okay, and here's the third. This is more noticeable. Okay, and obviously that's the master volume. Here's the controller on the bottom left here. It, 
left is slow, right is fast, and in the middle, it's the break. Okay, so let's take a look at the Leslie cabinet, or the emulation of the Leslie cabinet. And I've put this on the factory default, so we can start from there. Uh, the first section is the input. And I don't know if I mentioned this before, but this, this uh, cabinet can um, receive or can act as a plug-in for a different instrument. I have a piano track here with some MIDI notes on it. And just for demonstration's sake, let's run the piano through the DB cabinet. Here it is. Here's the external input. So this is uh, going to receive the piano. And you can mix it with the organ if you want. So here's what the piano sounds like coming through this Leslie cabinet. So without, with, without, all right, so you get the idea. The next section is kind of a tube preamp where you can add some harmonics and some drive and do some high cuts. Here's the high cut. Here's the drive. Here's character. I believe this kind of works with the mid-range harmonics. All right. The next section is the mics. There are two mics, uh, one for the drum below and the other for the horn tweeters above. And you can mix between them. That's more of the horns. That's more of the drum. So I think it'd be smart to pay attention to that when you're making your sounds. Okay, and the next section is the speed control for the drum and the horns. Right now it's on slow. There's slow and fast and break. Okay, so that is the uh, DB33 organ plug-in. I hope you found it helpful. Check out my other videos that I did on the uh, Creative Collection plugins included in Pro Tools. I have a whole playlist on those. Thank you very much for hanging out with me today, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care.